Hello students. In the previous session, already we have seen the male reproductive system in the human beings as well as the female reproductive system in the human beings. So, uh, when the exchange of the sperm or the gametes takes place while the sexual contact between the male and female, so through the vaginal openings the sperms will enter the female body so through the vaginal openings the sperms will enter the female body so this is already we know that uh, the fallopian tube or it is oviduct so here along with the oviduct the sperms will reach the egg so so the thousand in the in one drop of the salmon there are thousands of sperms are present so among those which one is more stronger that sperm will move or it will travel very fast and it will reach the egg so that time when the sperm reach the egg so the fertilization is going to take place that is the fusion of male and female gamete so after the fusion of male and female gamete so the fertilization will take place so it will results the formation of the zygote so it will results the formation of zygote so here we can see what will happen after the fertilization so how it is going to uh, what are the stages uh, which are going to take place after the fertilization or when the zygote is going to form so here but the diagrammatic presentation will show you uh, the next process which is going to take place inside the woman's body so when the egg is fertilized so in the oviduct so that is in the oviduct or in the fallopian tube the zygote will be formed so this is the zygote so the zygote divides rapidly or it is going to it is going under the process of cell division that is the repeated mitotic cell division by the repeated mitotic cell division so the egg will start to divide itself more faster and so it will start to move slowly in the oviduct and forms a hollow structure or a hollow ball like structure of which is consist of hundreds of cells so here the single celled zygote is present which is going to divide here so you can see here that is half portion so two portions are going to convert into uh, four four will convert into eight eight will convert into 16 like that only the number of cells are going to increase in the zygote okay so this structure is containing hundreds of cells so this hollow balls of cell is nothing but embryo this is embryo so what about the structure we are looking in this diagram no that is nothing but the embryo so in this embryo we can't see the special organs or the any organ of the child okay so this is the undifferentiated structure so it will sinks it will sinks into the soft and thick lining of the uterus so here we can see the red color patch that is the thick lining of the uterus so here and it will gets embedded so it will come under the the embryo gets embedded in the soft and thick lining of the uterus so this uh, uh, the embedding of the embryo the embedding of the embryo in the thick lining of the uterus that is called implantation so here the implantation of embryo in the uterus so like this the zygote will come it will divides it will come it will sink down and it will come and joins or it will embedding so means so that is the embryo will 
embedding in the thick lining of the uterus so this is what we called the implantation so when the proper fertilization takes place at that time the implantation is also going to takes place otherwise so uh, when the fertilization is not going to takes place this egg will come uh, it will sinks so it will go outside so when it is fertilized then only it will be embedded in the inner linings of the uterus otherwise it will go out in the form of blood okay so here you will see the one more diagram in that one we can see after the implantation this is the uterus here only the embryo was attached okay after the development of the embryo after the development of embryo a special tissue develops between the wall of the uterus between the uterus wall okay between the uterus wall and the embryo so the embryo and the uterus wall between these two uh, one special tissue will form so that is called the placenta here you can see the red colored structure so this is the placenta so which is going to give the connection between the embryo and the uterus so after this after that the fetus is connected so this is so the uh, difference between the placenta uh, sorry difference between the embryo and uh, fetus is so in the fetus we can see the parts of the baby hands eyes ears head portion leg all the parts we can see we can differentiate the different parts but in the embryo we can't differentiate the different parts of the baby okay so here the the fetus is connected to the placenta placenta in mother's body okay so here you can see the structure so to the uh, uh, from the uterus to the embryo one special tissue will form that is called placenta okay so here the fetus is connected to the placenta in the mother's body through a umbilical cord so here you can see one special type of tubular structure is present that is called umbilical cord through that the whatever the materials are going to transport or which are going to exchange from the mother's body to the baby are going to exchange by this umbilical cord so here <clears throat> all the requirements for the fetus like nutrition respiration and excretion all are going to take place okay in the in other words we can say that the exchange of nutrients oxygen and waste products between the embryo and the mother takes place through the placenta okay so the connection which is going to give the uh, give between the uh, fetus and uterus that is the placenta and uh, placenta and embryo uh, fetus that is the umbilical cord okay so after this the baby will develop completely so the time period okay so from the time of fertilization up to the uh, birth of the baby so that time period from the fertilization up to the birth of the baby is called a gestation period remember this one the time from which the from the fertilization up to the birth of the baby is called the gestation period so the average gestation period in humans is nothing but uh, the 9 months or it may be uh, considered as 38 weeks so the gestation period in the human beings is nothing but uh, 9 months or 38 weeks so during the gestation period the fetus grows to become a baby so birth begins when the strong muscles in the walls of the uterus start to contract rhythmically so the muscles of this uterus are going to 
they will be form very strongly and they will start to contract rhythmically at that time so this head portion will turns and it will come out first so that uh, by that way only uh, through the vaginal openings the baby is going to be delivered and it will take the proper birth okay so this is what we called the development of the embryo hope it is clear if you have any doubts you can send the messages or questions to my whatsapp number thank you and have a nice day